Hey everyone, so just a quick cut video here today and I wanted to highlight um, the new updates with especially with the torch height compensation and how well they work and how it can save you a lot of headaches in your cuts or failed pieces uh, and that's going to come on this cut what you'll see when I get on the outer edge uh, of this hanger that I'm making um, when it gets out near the edge of the material how much the material bows and warps up and the torch height compensation kicks in and perfectly raises and then lowers the torch height so it doesn't end up, you know, arcing out on the metal or stopping the cut or cutting a really wonky line. There is just an ever so slight defect in it, but it was nothing that, you know, uh, was overly noticeable when the piece was complete. So, you know, it really saved this one. So this is sort of the purpose or one of the purposes of having your torch height compensation dialed in, having a good voltage divider that's giving you what you need. So the only other thing I have to add is that uh, this new firmware update with the you know changes to the torch height compensation, um, it just it runs great. So I want to you know give kudos to Andrew and to Igor, his programmer, and anybody else who was involved in finally sorting a lot of the programming issues out. Uh, it just runs so super smooth and consistent now. You know, with my adjustable voltage divider, I can set set it right where I want, and uh, it's been set you know to get somewhere around 60 to 70 on the TH value and it has just been working consistently really well. I get you know perfect holes when I'm doing outlines of something that have a lot of movement in them. Uh, there's a minimal amount of dipping and diving anymore. It just I get really great consistent cuts with it so um, yeah I guess that's sort of the reasoning behind having it. So my settings on this one, um, this is 14 gauge cold rolled steel. Uh, I believe I'm running around a thousand millimeters a minute at 45 amps. Uh, that's with a 1.0 tip. Um, so for the torch height compensation, I'm running, and what I've been running on pretty much everything is uh, smoothing on six, gain on 2.75. Velocity compensation, I haven't played around as much with it, but I usually set it, um, sort of my default values at three and then adjust up or down if needed. But, uh, and using the automatic set point. Uh, beyond that, I haven't really found that I need to adjust it very much. Uh, and on this 14 gauge material, it runs great. So anyway, um, yeah, maybe that'll help you out and uh, gives you a good starting point. <laughs> 